TV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nukatola. All right, we're checking out the radar picture over the past 12 hours. Nothing much in our part of the southeast. We do see at least some activity up there on the other side of Memphis, Tennessee. Now, that's about as close to our area as most of the activity is going to get. There will be big talk about significant storms way up there. But for us, it's really more of the same. We're starting off today real comfortable. Valdosta at 50 this morning. Tallahassee is a little closer to 60. We're at 59. Normal morning temperature should be 57. And we're going to find a lot of numbers pretty close to that. Nothing in the rain bucket yet these first couple of days of May. It's been a little while since we've seen some rain. We need to get some rain. Lots of thirsty lawns, gardens, and greens out there. But Mother Nature's got no plans on helping us out, at least not over the next few days. 71 at Apalachicola, the warm spot. We saw the 50 in Valdosta. It's the coolest. How about 61 at Bainbridge? 56 at Monticello. We're at 58 degrees at Quincy, and it's 58 degrees at Perry also. Not a lot of wind out there. Whatever breeze we do have today is going to have more of a southeast and even south component that brings in some warmer, some more humid. So I do think we'll start to see a few more high, thin clouds. And while there's significant activity well off to the west and northwest, that's where it's all going to stay, going around this big ridge of high pressure that is very slowly moving away. Now, over the next couple of days, the winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere are going to change. That's key, because as that happens, now we can start to get another pattern shift, one away from all the warm and dry, and maybe start to bring back some chances for showers. It's still a little early in the season for those normal afternoon sea breeze type showers to get fired up. We count on those to help break the heat, also to give us that much needed rain. This time of the year, we need a little bit more help upstairs to get some showers generated. Nothing coming our way today, tomorrow, or Saturday. Maybe by the end of the upcoming weekend, when that pattern change happens, maybe then we can look for some showers. Until then, we're staying pretty dry and we're going to be pretty warm. On the Gulf today, winds out of the southeast. Turning on shore this afternoon, 5 to 15, very manageable for the boaters. High tides finish up about a quarter after 8. We're talking 50s, 60s, quickly through the 70s. By lunchtime, I'm expecting temperatures up over 80 and daytime highs today, well up into the upper 80s, a little cooler near the coast. It will be mostly sunny. It will be warm. It will be a little bit more humid. Back near 60 again tonight, still with the clear skies or mostly clear skies. Maybe a little patchy fog, that's all. But things are going to feel a little bit more summer-like over the next couple of days. Lots of 89s for daytime highs. I hope it doesn't get much warmer than that.